Nathan, thank you. Well, yesterday's stormy weather here didn't just disrupt our day. Storms popped up across the south, delaying hundreds of flights at two of the nation's busiest airports. Weather's usually to blame for a lot of that mess. It's just one of many factors, though, that air traffic controllers have to train for. Tonight, Chris Van Cleve continues his inside look at how the next generation of controllers is being trained. The FAA is assembling the next generation of air traffic controllers at this Oklahoma City Training Center in an effort to end its staffing shortage. Hello, Pat Delta. Even if this looks a little old school, part of the training amounts to a giant tabletop exercise with handheld plane models flying around the room. You see people holding model airplanes. And yes. That looks like something out of the 50s. Correct. Is that an effective way to train? I'm glad you ask. That is an absolute crucial part to the training. It slows things down for them. It gives them an opportunity to learn the airspace. Bravo, Charlie, India. To close the 3,000 controller gap, the FAA has sped up its hiring process. It aims to have more than 2,000 trainees pass through what amounts to ATC boot camp this year the most ever. This is probably the most important training piece that we have. Chris Wilbanks oversees training for the FAA. This is where they learn the basics, they learn the phraseology, everything we can teach them and assess their ability to become an air traffic controller. A CBS News data review found over 90% of air traffic control towers in the U.S. were understaffed. System outages and staffing issues led to thousands of delays and cancellations at major airports this summer. This may be the future of ATC training. Immersive tower simulators have been installed in 95 facilities nationally, cutting controller certification time by 27 percent, potentially saving months of training time. Course coordinator Eric Weidel. We can talk about theory and rules and procedures, and it's all knowledge and it's great, but what good is that knowledge if you don't do something with it? The FAA does not allow interviews with current students, but did let us try out the simulator where they'll be spending weeks training. Alaska 517 Academy Tower, runway 28 right, line up and wait. It's a lot to manage. Planes circling, taxiing, waiting to take off, and others on approach to land. Air France 113 Heavy, Academy Tower, go around. Air France 113 Heavy, go around. About 35% of students will fail and it can take two years or more of on-the-job training to fully certify a controller. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Oklahoma City.